Hello everyone. In today's session we will see how to configure users and user roles in the Informatica MDM10. So in order to configure the roles, you should have the administrator right to the what are the logged in user. So here I have logged in as an admin user which is having the administrator rights. So if you see, so this admin user have the administrator rights. In order to add the different user for the different models like the for the IDD or for the SIF user, we have to create user. Even the data steward users we can create using this users section. So now today we will add one user to this users section. In order to do that we have to take a write log. So go to the write log, select acquire log. You will find the plus sign, just click the first sign, plus sign. You have to provide the first name. Here I am using the hub user and the last name is the developer. So user will be hub user D. So it is by default created. We can modify this. In order to keep uh, it is simple I am making the password as the same as the username here in the actual real time case you can have the alphanumeric or what are the defined define format of for the password so we have created password we can assign the particular CMX ORS or any other ORS for the given user for now in this example I am assign, assigning CMX ORS as a ORS. Save the order the configured user. The next thing we have to do we have to add the roles. So for adding the roles we have to select the particular ORS. Here, here in this case we are selecting CMX ORS. Right click on this role section. So this is not selecting because we have to again acquire the law. So I will add the add user add role function. Give the role as a hub user. Hub users. We can provide the description. So this will create a new role is called as a hub users. We can define the different properties so what like the packages or what base objects will be accessible to this hub users if you don't uh, if you want to use the global properties to be assigned to the hub user just select the all global resources so this will select all the default properties like it will select the base object as well as well as packages or any other properties so similarly i will give the most of the accesses to this user and the save the properties so we have so far we have created user and the role now we have to add those users to particular group so is for doing that we have to go to the users and group section select the uh, you can see the what are the user groups we have and uh, assign the groups for the particular roles so I'm selecting hub users as a role click on the edit button and what are the users you want to assign for that role you can assign for now i will use hub users d as a one of the user now you can see the user so let's try to log in with this new user so before that we have to just do the validation for the uh, syncing the metadata in the mdm side so we are doing the validation for the CMX ORS by using the repository manager and the valid tab. So once it is successfully validated, so here we are, uh, we could see the different warnings, but for now we can ignore those. So here we are logging with the new created user.
and we will select the ORS oh but we can't see the any workbench properties or the processors then what what is missing so let's see so once you give the access we also have to, we need to give the tool access so this is the MDM hub tool and in order to give the access to the hub tool we have to give this specification or the specific tool access to each user or the each role so for that we have to go to the configuration tool access select the particular user like the hub developer the tools which you want to show to that user you can select uh, and before that we need to take ac acquire the logs once you acquire the like this uh, we can push all those property that will be get displayed for that particular user if you want to use any any processes out of this to be also visible to that user we can give and that's it that's it so let's try to log in again and we will see whether we are able to see the various details for that particular user again i'm selecting semicolon also now we can see all the properties in the for for that particular user so these are the uh, these are the things which are uh, regarding to the users uh, how to add user how to add role for the particular user so now uh, there are a few things i would like to share how can you define the global policies for the passwords so for that i will go to the admin user select the uh, master database go to the configuration select users and there we have the global policy properties so here we can set the what is the minimum password length what is maximum password length if you want to modify that get acquire, acquire a log and change this properties similarly um, you can ch change the time period for the expiration of the password like if you select the number of uh, the properties which is mentioning days to password expiry we can change that for now i am keeping it as 10 uh, uh, so we are just disabling this property by unchecking then the login setting we have so how many failed logins will be it will lock the account then the restricted password use limit we can define that property as well similarly what kind of password we can set whether we should start with the alpha or can we use the alphanumeric character or any specific for the ending the character ending the password so we can change those property for example for now i have set the password length as a four let me try to give the size less than four what message i will get so in order to do that i will try to add one more sample user This will create it and I will give some password here three digit password so it's saying the password specified does not con conform to the defined global pos policy pa uh, password policy so so such kind of a generic message will be displayed if you don't do or don't provide the what are the definition global password policy definition so this is uh, regarding the today's session if you have any queries how to give the access to the users how can you define the different roles how can you uh, assign the groups and the user for the particular um, particular number of particular group of the users so you can mention all your queries uh, below this video so thanks for watching and see you soon